hands of Sergio Moore ringside. What's the key here in the first round, Sergio? First round is to get past that jab, that shotgun jab of Bebo. How is he going to be able to break that distance that Bebo keeps so well? Canelo said he can't get off to a slow start, which he usually likes to do, Daniel. Why is that? Because Bebo is a, a puncher that throws shots and punches. He has a large arsenal that he uses, but one of them being his punch count. So Canelo can't start off short and slow because he'll be backtrack. And he's going to throw that jab a lot. In his last fight, 76% of his punches were jabs. Talking to Bebo's team this week, they want to be unpredictable with the right hand. They felt Kovalev was more too predictable when he tried to throw that. They want to make Canelo thinking about that right hand for most of this fight. Canelo trying to come around the guard, the high guard of Bebo right now with left and right hooks. Tight guard being shown here by Canelo. Same tight guard that he had in front of Kovalev, like Maddox said. So that jab will be effective, even if it's just touching those gloves. Bebo's never been down. 11 KOs, 19 wins. Of course, Canelo has never been knocked down either. Left hand off the top of the head from Alvarez. Does that right hand and stabbing jab downstairs. I want to see more body shots. Take what you can. And we saw Canelo Alvarez. 
Alvarez against Callum Smith constantly hit his arms. Do you think Alvarez might try to do the same to Bebo to stop the jam? Yeah, that first time I noticed Canelo was landing to the left shoulder. So maybe he wants to tire off those shoulders as well. Keep aiming at those biceps. Oh, that snuck through. Caught the chin a little bit for Canelo. starts loading up, even if you block those shots, they're still going to have an impact. And Bebo's going to find that out soon. Look at Bebo trying to be the boss. And this is what Bebo has to do. Even if he makes it a little bit ugly, pushing him, leaning on him, he has to be aggressive. He has to make it uncomfortable for Canelo. And Daniel, we talk about Canelo having such great power. Is this more power than Bebo is used to, considering he's the heavier fighter? I would say so. Canelo is definitely a, a, a jam-packed type of power fighter. So his punches has a lot of thumb behind him, including speed. This might be a little bit different than what uh, Bebo has experienced before. Here's Canelo going around the guard. That one pierced the left hand of Bebo. And Bebo comes right back with three or four punches of his own, backing up Canelo, which is something we're not accustomed to seeing as Canelo take a back step. Well, Chris, he wanted to fight a light heavyweight. And Dimitri Bebo looks the part so far. Yeah, Dimitri Bebo looks sharp in these early rounds. He clearly has a good game plan. And he is throwing that right hand a little bit more than I expected him to early on. There's that right hand to the body. That, uh, that's a sneaky power punch by Bebo that sets up the right hand upstairs. I want to see more punches like that for Canelo. Not, not many opponents throw body shots on Canelo.
sigue trabajando para honrar a tu familia, tu herencia, tu cultura. Nos levantamos para que el mundo sepa lo lejos que hemos llegado. Estamos aquí para hacer historia. Through four full rounds, 
it's pretty apparent that this is not going to be a walk in the park for Canelo Alvarez, who's a 5-1 to one favorite according to the odd makers here in Vegas. But we've seen this before with Canelo Alvarez, where he's biding his time, maybe even losing rounds or close rounds. We've seen it with Caleb Plant, we've seen it with B.J. Saunders, and then in a flash he turns it on.
going to have to be content with hitting shoulders, arms, and forearms in this fight because people, his defense is too tight and forearms too good. Chris, is this the type of fight you thought we'd see in the sixth round? Well, I expected this much activity, Dimitri Bebo, with the jab. I didn't expect this many combinations and really the comfort level. We spoke a lot before this fight, but would those flights the moment be too big for Dimitri Bebo at this point? Absolutely not. He seems unaffected by everything as we check in with Sean Porter. Listen, Dimitri Bebo, Bebo supporters hang on. I do have him losing this fight. Two rounds to three, but when I'm seeing him, I'm going to mimic what Sergio Moro said. Control, discipline, intelligence. Hang on because this fight might get tight the way that Bebo is, is uh, performing right now. It's already tight, I would say. Here in round six, 50 seconds to go. It could be 3-2 either way. Canelo content to lay against the ropes, hoping he can counter Bebo. Bebo looking right at the chest of Canelo. You asked earlier, Todd, when you look at a person's eyes or chest, Bebo's looking straight at the chest. He's looking to set his right hand up. You were around the ground with a left hook right there. I love the punch selection by Bebo right now. Just like Canelo, he's looking for an opening and land something big as well. Total focus. Just 
doesn't even look too bothered, does he? he he's just calm. He's calm and relaxed, and then that's the reason he's having so much success. And then goes back to that power jab. He gets his work slip working, pulls out with his footwork, pops him with that jab. We asked people during the fighter meetings, do you think you can win a decision in Las Vegas? He said, you know what? If I feel like I won, that'll be good enough for me. I don't worry about the judges. Not sure he would feel that way right now, but we shall see. And look at the punches through round nine. My word, 110 to 61. Chris, are you surprised by what you're seeing? I'm very surprised. Dimitri Bebo, start to finish, has had a really effective game plan. And Canelo Alvarez, one of the smarter fighters in all of boxing, often has a plan B, a plan C, when coming into fights, has not figured out how to get to Dimitri Bebo. And Dimitri Bebo, frankly, looks like the fresher fighter as we're halfway through the 10th round. Well, Canelo told us how much respect he had for Bebo and told us how good he thought Bebo is. And Canelo was right. And Tom, this looks in many ways like the first Golovkin fight, where Canelo's fighting off the ropes, off his back foot a lot. He managed to come away with a disputed draw in that fight, but Bebo, he looks like he's winning it. Counter right hand snaps the jaw. Does it look like he's winning it? He's winning this fight. Daniel, what should Canelo be doing differently? I feel like Canelo should be taking it a little bit more seriously. It's good to slip punches. It's good to be good defensively. But when you're down, and I feel like he knows it's a large possibility he may be down, he got to do something better. He got to step it up. I think this is a fight where Canelo's heavy feet, I mean, it's, it benefits him to keep his feet behind him because he's so explosive. But when you're dealing with a technician with good footwork like people, you're going to have to step up your, 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 your footwork. Well, Canelo is chasing greatness by being in this division, and he's going to have to be great the rest of the way to win this. Not 